asking the right guy that question. You serve that up. Thanks. I'll hit that one. Thanks. I know. That's how the kids pick out girls now. I'll hit that one. I go, what are you talking about? They go, no. I mean, hit on her. Ugh. Lovely. Lovely children. He's Ed Till. Got a big show. Very exciting day with the network. Talking to the big network. I, I go hot and cold with this. It's, the deal. it's a big deal, right? Of course it's a big deal. Over 30 and you're laughing still. And it's positioning the art of will. Hey, Mr. Till. Wasn't it? I got in and out, baby. baby All right, what's going on? What's going on in the world since we were just together an hour ago? Did you eat? I hope you ate. I didn't eat. Did you eat? I ate. I a little bit. If you call that eating, hey, call Michael Douglas. Tell me what he thinks. Guy drives me crazy. He's he's been a, a, a big pain in the you know what all the time, and now he's oh you know I I got uh, sacrificial cancer the kind of some men wouldn't even do it. All right, enough. We did all that. Okay, enough. Enough is enough. The uh, yeah, he's like oh yeah, I'm the greatest guy ever. You know, I do this. Uh, and other men won't even do it. I'm the greatest guy. Oh, and by the way, I tell you, it gave me cancer. Oh man, we're just talking about a martyr complex. All the way. Is it? Is there ever anything with him that's not really flattering and, and positively reflecting on him? Because it's just too conveniently self-serving. I mean, even, even when it comes to cancer, there is a way to use your cancer uh, to advance your public relations. And this is the whole thing. You know, it's, it's what I do with the ladies, you know. And you go, no, I don't know. Well, you know, a lot of guys don't do it. Oh, you did that, and it got you. Yeah, right in the in the in. Wow, boy, you're, boy, you're an amazing man, and you're uh, you've been plagued by a disease for what they would normally give you a medal for. I'm surprised that Naomi Wolf isn't just you know naming it after you. They should be naming their their areas after the area that uh, besieged you. You were just doing missionary work down there, and you were hit with the plague. And uh, you're on. You're you're in danger of dying, losing your your one woman that you're with now, allegedly, Catherine Zeta. And uh, you could have lost your life because you were a generous, a giving enough person. I mean, it's a, it's a staggering uh, reality, not the kind that we like. Uh, it's not the kind of uh, battle that science likes to lose. Science likes to win that battle. You know, saving Michael Douglas, the great giver of, uh, you know, he's uh, it's, uh, Michael Douglas, uh, pretty good at cunnilingus. How do you like that? That's a, how do you like that rhyming? Your na if your name rhymes... With the greatest thing that, you know, women ask any Oprah, you happen to see, what's the best tuna <laughs> going down on me? So that's the thing. Girls, you know, girls are like, hey, I want, uh, mama wants some sugar delivered downstairs, if you know what I mean. So I get it. You know, women like we get equal pay. Uh, we would like uh -uh, equal Okay, I get it. Michael Douglas, once again, a pioneer. He's like the, he's like the Christopher Columbus of uh, whatever you want to call it. It's a, very exciting what he did. But for me, very suspicious. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't born yesterday. I've seen how all this works in Hollywood. What do you think? You think I don't know what it means to have an agent and, and somebody shape your career around life events and make them favor? I mean, look at how it, when it goes the opposite. Okay, that's right. So he's on the upside of that. Well, he's, you know, his father alive is still a legend. There isn't anybody left, I think, from his father's crowd. Burt Lancaster, I think, is long gone. So I love, uh, I love his father's crowd, but he has been working my generation since the uh, streets of San Francisco. Carl Malden snuck him into my living room. <laughs> my dad going, that's Michael, that's, uh, that's, that's Kirk Douglas's son, Michael. I said, really? So what? Streets of San Francisco. But he was always, he always had that chin out like his dad, sticking his chin out. He's got a big chin. He was sticking it out there. And now you know that it's not about the chin. I don't, well, ultimately it does become the chin, an issue. 
It's Michael Douglas uh, everywhere. It's in every magazine, every woman's magazine on the planet. Well, such an august actor, such a. They're flattering him. It's out of control because they're trying to subtextually say, thank you for the work you've done, you know, for all the women who've known you.